Okay, uh, are we recording? Yep. Okay. Hi. Um, today I'm gonna show how to extract text string from a PDF document. Like this. It's a boring PDF. But anyway, we're gonna use this today. Mm. And let me s first correct uh, common misunderstandings about the PDF format. PDF is not actually a document format in in such a way like like uh, Microsoft, Microsoft Word format or HTML format. Uh, it's more like a graphics format for presentation. It, it's it's only for presentation and printing. So extracting something useful from PDF is already doomed from the beginning. But let me re but let me try anyway. Um, the, so first thing we have I have to say about PDF format is that it's a weird mixture of text and binary. Oh, by the way, in this video, I'm go I'm gonna use only um, basic Unix tool like less or oak and uh, this might be some uncom uh, not not very familiar to you but this is uh, there's a d dd these tools these command only and uh, this is just educational purposes okay I i'm not going to say this uh, we can do this you know by hand you you have to definitely use some tools but I mean anyway let me show how to do this by hand this time um, the, so now we are looking into the actual internal of a PDF uh, uh, I, I, have, I have I see some kanjis it's not good uh, let's, let's just have to Works. Oh. Anyway, I, I forgot. anyway, so some some parts in in the PDF is text format, as you can see. Uh, but we, as we go on, some parts are binary, so you can you are see seeing a bunch of gibberish. And uh, some parts are text again, some parts are binary again, and uh, this is a this is a PDF format. It's a mixture of text and binary. And in terms of the doc, I mean, documentation or format design, design of a document format, this is very bad because you have to parse the text, you know, correctly to get the content. To, to process the content, yet those contents are not human readable. Some parts are not human readable. You have to use byte offset and manipulate, you know, bytes by using some specialized tool. So it's not human readable, but still you need to pass, and uh, it's uh, it's very bad. So anyway, and another thing about PDF is that it should be read backwards, you know. It it sh you you must read 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 PDF from the end of the file uh, because PDF sup originally supports concatenation of of multiple PDFs, but I don't know if it's still you know being used by people. Anyway, so this is the uh, this is the end of the file, and uh, PDF file a PDF file has a uh, I guess three parts basically. Which is a trailer and cross reference and uh, other parts. And trailer and cross reference is very important part. And act but they are actually located at the bottom, at the end of the PDF. And now we are seeing it. So first we 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 have to read you know from the bottom, you know, from the end and 
the first thing we have to find is cross reference and the, the it's it's there's a byte offset of cross cross reference here so actually this is a byte offset within this file so we have to read we have to access this 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 location this byte uh, in in this file but because we cannot we cannot do this with less we have to use another tool called dd i don't know what this this originally stands for but dd these days uh basically used for you know for reading or well, writing files by byte off by, by using byte offset instead of you know other unix c tools and the basic use is that you specify the input file name and um, and um, you specify bs equal 1 uh, th which means block size is 1 so because originally dd was supposed to be used for reading you know disk blocks and uh, disk blocks are basically, you know, I guess, two, one, 512 bytes per sector or per block. Uh, but so DD was designed to refer to these blocks by by the block number by, by off file offset or disk disk devices devices uh, by block number. But we don't want to use block number we because we are just looking at, at the file, so we overwrite block size as one so that we can you know we can we can refer to byte offset by using this tool uh, and then skip so this is actually the byte offset we we're gonna look into so by 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 doing this we actually see from the standard output uh, the contents of this file from this byte offset okay so let's do it yeah so now we are seeing the start of the start location from this is the start of cross reference xref means cross reference and cross reference is a a list a array of byte offset to to each object which is used in in a PDF. Oh, but the P PDF is a basically bunch of object. It's a set of object which represent uh, you know this graphical structure of the document. But we we're gonna talk this later. Uh, so this is a xref. I guess. And, uh, oh, oh, actually, this is not not actual content. This is the output of DD to the standard error up output. So we we just uh, cut this off. Then, uh, yeah, yeah. But in, in in this way, we can only see the output, the standard output of DD. And. Uh, so this is cross reference from here to un until here. This is the last line, and then right after uh, the cross reference, there's a trailer, and trailer is uh, is a very important. It it actually ref refers to the root object in 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 the PDF. The root object is uh, is an is an is an is an object which refers to everything so basically pdf has a tree structure you know not not everything is is in the tree but some some of the objects like pages uh uh in inside the tree so we have to refer to the top you know node of the tree which is root object and uh, yeah the pointer to the object is written just here so let me explain a little bit about this, you know, notation. 
This is was originally used by PostScript format, which is another you know document graphical format developed by Adobe. And uh, PDF basically inherits a bunch of you know syntactic features from po from PostScript, which is the predecessor predecessor. And in PostScript, this actually means a dictionary object. So PostScript was actually prog programming language. So it had a bunch of types, like numbers or strings or you know, arrays or dictionary. With dictionary is a lot, it's just a dictionary like Python.